the blue line until the doors are open completely. Once inside the theater, we'll ask you quickly select her out. We'll move down, filling in all seats for us. Count of three. I want you all to shout for me as loud as you can. Monster Sound Show! Okay, let's try it. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three! Monster Sound Show! Okay, pretty good. Pretty good. Did you get that in there, Ken? All right, sure, Ron. Would you like to hear it? Yes, I would. Folks, look behind that window. You'll see Ken. He's going to be our engineer today for the... Monster Sound Show! Now, see, folks, that's what this show here is all about. Recording and reproducing sound. And this is where it all takes place, on the Foley stage. It's named after one of the pioneers of our business, Jack Foley. Now, in just a few moments, these four folks are going to use these props to create some spine-tingling sound effects for an old-fashioned haunted house thriller starring Chevy Chase as Mr. Lucky, Martin Short as Simon Weir, and our hand-picked team of Foley artists. Now, the first time you see the film, you're going to hear its original soundtrack, and I want you folks to pay close attention to every sound you hear. Because afterwards, these four are going to duplicate every one of them for you. And they're going to use these original props designed and built by Disney sound effects wizard Jimmy McDonald. Okay, let's take a look at the film. Simon Weir, Martin Short's character in the film. As a matter of fact, Ken is very excited now, folks, about giving all of you a preview of that evil 
Sinister growl. <laughs> Ooh, Bill, that terror, folks. Yeah, come on, clap for Ken. All right, Ken, face your mic nice and close. And here we go to station number three, where we have Mike. Okay, Mike. Now, folks, Mike's in our Foley pit, which consists of four different walking surfaces. We have cement, marble, wood, and gravel. Now, Mike, all you have to do is follow in the actor's footsteps, literally. When they take a step, you take a step. And when Simon closes a book, strikes a match, a bat flies by, or Mr. Lucky falls, you got that too, okay? All right, climb on that cement. That's where you start, Mike. And here we move to station number four, where we have... Raylene. Raylene. I hate to tell you this, but you were in the busiest station of this film, so get ready to work, okay? Now, you are responsible for the fierce wind, the rotating bookcase, the squeaking gate, the squeaking door, the umbrella, and Simon's foot, the grandfather clock and his chimes, three taps on a dog's head, tap being pulled from Simon's foot, and a flutter of papers after that bookcase explodes. Got it, Raylene? Yep. Okay. <laughs> All right, now, folks, I need your help, too. We're going to add a line of dialogue to this film. When I hold up this cue card, I want every one of you to shout as loud as you can. Look out. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Okay, good. You got the part. All right. Here we go. Sue, stand by your rain and thunder railing. Get ready with wind. Then move to the squeaky gate. Then immediately right back to the wind. Mike, start on the cement. Walk into the gravel. Step up to the wood. Your front porch. Grab your own cannon. Don't forget your buttons. Here we go. Quiet on the sand. And action.
last place. Exit to the right. Goodbye, folks. Thanks, sir.